Good morning, friends. Um, today's video, we're going to be covering the planetwatch.io. Uh, I know it's getting a lot of hype. A lot of friends are asking me for my um, honest review on it. And um, yes, uh, before I talk about it, I need to talk about the shining syndrome of the crypto mining that's hitting everyone, including companies, including influencers, including us. Uh, so the shining syndrome of the crypto mining, it, it is very interesting because we love passive income and the Helium project just proved that it works. And that's why companies are jumping on it. That's why influencers, that's why us, we're all jumping on this. So we need to understand that not every project that is doing crypto mining is guaranteed to succeed. A project needs to solve a problem it needs to have a built-in economics that makes sense it needs a lot of variables to be answered so uh, for example i'm going to give you a video i'm going to make a video in two days if you guys want to me show you step by step how i can create my own token and my own i set my own cap and i do uh, list it on the bank swap just you know in a matter of minutes does that give it any value? No. If I'm going to give you, hey, subscribers, if you watch the full video, I'm going to give you 10,000 tokens. Well, it has no value. It's worth zero money. It's just a souvenir. So that's one thing. And uh, let's go back to the Planet Watch. Planet Watch, uh, it's a French company that they created these uh, IoT air pollution sensors. That's about it. Uh, so in terms of projects, we, once we assess it, what problem does it solve? It doesn't solve anything to do with pollution. It only gives you a monitoring aspect of the pollution. So do you need to have you know, constant monitoring of pollution like by the second or by the minute? I don't think so. Um, it's just is there pollution or no are you solving the pollution or no so i i remember 16 years ago i was in uh, japan uh, i was in tokyo and my friend and i were walking on the street and there was a nice little car where he wiped his finger across the car and he was showing me the finger it was all black and he was just proving the idea that the pollution is huge in japan especially in tokyo so will this project solve this pollution no it just tells you there's pollution well this guy was wiping his finger just to prove a point that there is pollution so whether you wipe your finger or this device tells you there's pollution that does not give it any value especially if you are telling me you're going to monitor it monitoring it does not give it uh give it any value i know some people might want to use it if they want to know what's going on in their town or they want to track the pollution and the, where they walk or where they jog or where they bike or work out so okay that makes that sense but you're going to test it once or maybe once every six months or every two years pollution does not come overnight so that's why monitoring and building a reward system around it i don't see it uh, as a big thing so that's in terms of project. Now, in terms of products, uh, the products are using, first of all, old technology, which is using SIM cards or using uh, like the mobile one, the Atmo use is using uh, your mobile for data transfer. So these technologies uh, existed because Helium and MXE networks did not exist. Uh, there are some other solutions that uh, already in hand, but they, they didn't have the infrastructure of, uh, you know, network for IOTs. But now Helium is in the game, MXE is in the game, and therefore these products are over-evaluated because coming to the game. So, so in terms of this project, uh, the, the project does not give value. I, I, for me, as a person, monitoring on a minute to minute basis of the pollution in where i live right now does not give me i'm, I'm not gonna see a huge spike in pollution why would i see that it's not like i live in a chemical war zone 
Um, that's one part. Uh, this, the products themselves, they're old, or they're expensive. The competition is already in place at a cheaper price and more affordable. So um, I know that people are, can push this and can make this a bigger thing, but it, it will spike now. It will go up for a few months and then it will just die because people will not carry bulky uh, and, and use their mobile and drain their battery and use the Bluetooth. It, it's not feasible. It's, this is an old generation. Uh, but still, the reward system always pushes people to go to, you know, take the next step. Uh, how long will it last? I don't know. But um, it can last for a year, it can last more, it can die in a few weeks. So that's why it's, it's uh, since it does not solve a problem of the pollution, it just monitors the problem. There are countries that have institutions, organizations that does that and they have the equipment and they have everything. So the monitoring is there. So monitoring on a minute to minute basis does not give it, uh, does not add any value. Uh, sorry to break it this way, but this is how I see it from a project management perspective. If you guys have a different uh, way to look at it, please comment and uh, tell me what your thoughts are. are. But again, I want you guys to think about projects, not about the reward system. All of them now, we're gonna, they're going to do all this new structure of let's reward and get people to jump into our network or our products. We have to look at the project in full picture, not in just how much we're going to earn. And uh, that's my intake about the whole thing. And I know some people wouldn't like this, but it's that's how I look at it. Uh, if you guys disagree, please just tell me what you what your thoughts are, and um, we'll see you on the next video. And uh, again, um, in my channel, if you haven't been here, this is your first time. We don't do affiliate links. We don't get sponsored. We don't like to be sponsored. We just want to be transparent and avoid any hypes or trends that are pushed by, uh, you know, influencers, paid influencers, just to make things, you know, make sense. If everybody's going to make you this, tell you this is the next big thing, next big thing, everybody will jump. But once, you know, things are getting real and realistic, then that's when things go bad and you're like, oh, nobody told me about this. So anyways, uh, this is me, Eddie, and we'll see you in the next video.